Hi guys, long time to see, but I'm back. I had my wisdom teeth out, so I was recovering from that. I went to Target and bought the Rosemary Mint. Wait. Yeah, Rosemary Mint Myel collection. And I think I got everything within the collection. I don't think they had a conditioner the store that I was at, or maybe just they don't have a conditioner for this line in general. I don't know. But I got the shampoo, the styling cream, hair mask, the infamous hair growth serum. And are you hot? Oh, I'm a puppy. And then their eco gel. So I'll try their like their edge gel. Not eco gel, I'm sorry, their edge gel. This is probably the only product that I won't try today because I can't say if it works or not within just one video. All right, so right now I'm just washing out the hair mask that I had in my hair that I made at home. It's just honey, aloe vera plant, and some water. I didn't go swimming today, but I wanted to do the hair mask regardless of that. And then going in with the Maya Rosemary Mint Strengthening Shampoo, I have to smell everything and this smelled so good. It smells like minty and then it kind of smells like herbs if that makes sense, but like in a good way. Um, so yeah, just doing my normal washing. I was actually obsessed with the way that this felt on my scalp. It felt very cleansing and like it was just working really well with my hair and also just cleaning my scalp at the same time. Um, that could be that minty feeling, but also I think the product overall was really good. It helped detangle my hair while I was shampooing it, which you guys know I've talked about a lot and it is a big thing for me. Um, this product did not feel any type of stripping. I feel like it still kept my natural oils within my hair while taking out all of the bad ones that have built up. So I shampooed my hair twice and went in with the Mile hair mask and I used about that much. If I felt like I needed more, I would go in with more, but typically I like to brush my hair mask through and then obviously let them sit in my hair. So more or less is needed depending on your hair, how dense it is. Mine's pretty fine and thin as you can see. So I don't need that much. So I clipped my hair up after the hair mask and I left it in for about 10 minutes. Here's me drinking my second coffee of the day. Thank you, sleep milk. Um, but the bottle does say 15 to 20 minutes, but you can leave it in for as long or as short of amount of time as you think your hair needs. It is all depending on the moisture that you need to receive back within your hair. And I did wash my hair mask out with cool water. I do cool water with my conditioner and my hair masks. And I keep my shampoo at a lukewarmish temperature. And lastly for my washing, I finish off with the All Soft Mega Curls conditioner from Redken. Same as my hair mask, I like to brush my conditioner through just to make sure my hair gets that even distribution of it. I love the product already, but we'll see what the end result. My hair felt amazing as I was washing it, so I love it. Go in with their daily styling cream. I don't know. Oh, it's like, it's like sticky. I don't know. I'm going to let it dry for two hours. So I don't really know what time it is right now. Actually, I gotta go find my phone. 2.04, it's 3.26 right now. And this is my hair. I so far really like it. I like the way that it's, you know, drying. She's looking promising. We're crossing our fingers. We'll see. It is 4.02 two minutes early but this is the hair honestly i'm like really satisfied one thing i will say about the leave-in conditioners i feel like it didn't make my hair look um as shiny as my hair normally does like in person it kind of looks like it's like it's giving like that wet look and i don't really like that that's not the look i'm going for for my every day but I do love the volume that it gave me. I do love the definition that it gave me. It brought out all of that and my hair still feels like lightweight. It still feels clean. I don't know if you guys are even able to see like what I'm talking about, but I feel like all curly girls know like that hard cast looking. I'm gonna do a little 360 for you guys. I think my curls overall looked amazing. It was just the hard cast part for me. I'm going to do my hair really quick and do my edges and then we'll come back and review that and then review the product as a whole. So here's our gel. It's like, it's like not super sticky, so I don't really know how 
blood's gonna hold my hair. It kind of feels like honey, if that makes any sense. But hopefully that like dries down. That would probably be really good for like your brows. <laughs> Honestly, it's holding pretty well so far. I'm going out in the hot summer sun. So I guess we'll see if it holds throughout the day. Okay, so edge gel, I think it's fine. I just don't like how it like stays sticky, you know? Like, like I said, like that honey like feel or whatever. Um, but that's my only like review on it, but it did stay throughout the day. I just don't know if like you were like severely sweaty, if it would stay the way that my eco gel does. So that's my only thing. But I'm gonna give this product an 8.5 out of 10. Um, I think it's really good. What it did for my hair, I love how it made my hair feel. Definitely something that I would highly recommend. I would add this product to my rotation. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye. Thank you so much for watching.